What is your name? Cade. What do you think about diplomacy and art? Well, the relation between the two is very important between, uh, because of uh, art. It infects cultures in many ways by showing what they do on normal basis is like, uh, like ancient history, they used art to illustrate like rituals and uh, different things they would do as like farming and uh, the, their way of life. But right now, I would see, it would seem that um, like fun things you would do, like hang out with family and friends. And How does that connect to diplomacy though? Uh, it could show friendship between two countries uh, like uh, sharing art between each other and sharing the arts with each other. Do you think you can learn about someone's culture through art? Uh, yeah, most definitely because most, uh, most art will illustrate what people do in a life or what they do naturally in their country. Uh, like farming or how they work or what their families are like or what they do with their whole community. Thank you. What is your name? Claire. What do you think about diplomacy and art? Well, I think that the way they connect is that in art, sometimes with different cultures, like American culture, they have historical scenes, biblical scenes. Um, you can tell about a person's culture. And like early American history is portrayed through art with, the, with their clothing, with their, the, sometimes by the way the scenes are and everything. So I think it's very important that they show diplomacy through that and how other countries give art to us and we give art to other countries, such as the Statue of Liberty, which France gave to us. Do you think you can learn about someone's culture through art? Yes, I, like if you were to look at a Civil War painting from the U.S., you would know that it was a battle scene and you would know about that war in history. Thank you. What is your name? Ilana. What do you think about art and diplomacy? I think art and diplomacy go hand in hand. If you look back through time, you'll always see examples of art and diplomacy. Um, bridal portraits, for example, were very popular. You know, A family would send a portrait of their daughter um, to a country and then they would decide, hmm, is she pretty enough? Oh yeah, she is, let's marry her. So, you know, for example, Henry VIII's fourth wife, Anne of Cleves, her family um, had a portrait commission of her that was much more flattering uh, than it should have been, but they sent it to Henry VIII and Henry VIII approved and they were married. They divorced like four months later. <laughs> So do you think by looking at art you can see a country's culture? Definitely. I mean, art shows everything. Art shows what they wore, what they ate, what they like to do in their spare time. It shows events. It shows basically anything you want to know about a culture and a time period, you can learn from art. Thank you. What is your name? Oh, my name is Joe. What do you think about art and diplomacy? Well, art really affects diplomacy in a lot of ways because it can show the relationship between two countries and how we've grown, uh, we've had, we have peace with them because they gave us art showing uh, appreciation or we give them art showing that we appreciate what they've done for us. Do you think that by looking at art you can see a country's culture? Well, of course, I mean, you can tell somebody what they what that country eats, what that country talks like, what that country dresses like, all by a painting. Because any artist any artist can show what they feel on how their culture is by a painting. They can do just about anything with a painting. Thank you.